back in 1894. Up on a rise called Mars Hill, overlooking Flagstaff, Arizona, a man named Percival Lowell built a place to look deeper into the night sky. The Lowell Observatory, it sits about 7,200 feet or 2,195 meters above sea level. Lowell chose that high, dry patch of land for one reason, clear skies. He paid for the whole thing himself, spending around $20,000 at the time, roughly $700,000 today. And that helped build the dome, ship in the glass, and mount the amazing telescope. That main telescope, the Clark Refactor, it was made by Alvin Clark and Sons in Massachusetts. Its lens is 24 inches, or 26 centimeters across. The wooden dome that shelters it measures about 32 feet wide, just under 10 meters. And even now, more than a century later, it still works with that same smooth hand crank that Lowell used to turn the roof and follow the stars. Lowell was sure that Mars had canals and that there was another planet tugging on Neptune's orbit, a world that he called Planet X. He never found it, and he passed away in 1916, still searching. But his observatory carried on. In 1930, a young assistant named Clyde Tombaugh, he spent nights upon nights comparing glass photographs of the same piece of sky. One after another using a simple tool called a blink comparator. On one pair of plates, he spotted a faint moving dot. And that dot turned out to be Pluto, nearly three and a half billion miles or 5.8 billion kilometers from the sun. That discovery put Flagstaff, Arizona on the map in astronomy. And years later, Lowell Observatory helped map the moon for the Apollo missions and joined the research that showed that our universe is expanding faster than anyone ever expected. It's still a very active observatory today. The Clark Telescope is open to the public, and down the road, the staff now works with a much larger Discovery Channel telescope, a 4.3-meter mirror, about 169 inches across. But even with all that progress, the heart of Lowell Observatory, it has not changed. It's still a wooden dome on Mars Hill, where one man's belief in the unseen opened a window to the farthest edge of the solar system. These are Interesting Things with J.C.